Greetings, Mayhemers, and welcome back to 32 Manias of Mike. Man, oh man, I think we have finally hit the sweet spot when it comes to WrestleMania. We're off to Chicago for the 13th installment of WrestleMania. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, we are deep into the Attitude Era. Ugh. Yes. Uh, now, the Attitude Era, if you watch a lot of Raws, Raws kind of suck. Pay-per-views are generally pretty good, and this one is no exception. Oh, oh, guys. Uh, th th there's so much to talk about. All right, let let's kick it off with the first match. It's a number one contenders match. What a what a lovely thing to see at a pay-per-view. I would love to see that pay-per-views now. That, it's amazing. It's for the tagway championship tag team championships. And it's a four-way elimination match. You got the headbangers. WrestleMania debut. The new Black Jacks, Barry Windham and JBL. WrestleMania debut. The Godwins, WrestleMania debut. Doug Furst and Phil LaFon. And no one remembers who they are. But they're kind of like the beta versions of American Alpha. Similar. But, uh, yeah. It, it, and it's elimination. So it's fun. You can have a, a little count out here, a little DQ there. You know, I mean, I think there, there was only one count out. But still. And guys, the Headbangers win. I... Like, I didn't remember who won this match. I remember a few of the other matches that happened on here, but I thought for sure the Godwins were winning, but no. Mosh and Thrasher win their WrestleMania debut. Good for them. Good for the headbangers. Bad for Vince McMahon, who has no idea what headbanging is, nor what a mosh fit is. Like, Jerry Lawler is the voice of the youth. That should tell you something. But, you know, whatever. Next, um... We move to the Eric Hano title match. The Sultan, not his WrestleMania debut. Hi, Rikishi. How you doing, buddy? N nice nice little uh, bald head ponytail thing you had going on. Um, he was going up against the Eric Hano champion. New kid. I don't know if we'll hear from him again. Um, Rocky Maivia. Yeah. The Rocks, WrestleMania debut, you guys. And I gotta say that, I mean, these, they're related. Like, Rocky, Rock, and Sultan, they're cousins. You know, I did it for The Rock. I did it for the people. They know each other. They're family. Uh, Sultan is accompanied to the ring by Bob Backlund and the Iron Sheik. This becomes very important later. But, um, but they have a decent match. They have a fun little match. You can definitely hear a little bit of the Rocky Sucks chant. You can definitely hear that. Good. It's good to see that started pretty early on. I'm a fan. I can't wait to see. Because I forget how far into it we get for WrestleMania 14, which is in Boston, I think. Yeah, Boston. I'm pretty sure. Um, but uh, after the match... Iron Sheik attacks Rocky Maivia, and The Rock's father, Rocky Johnson, comes in. It's actually really cool kind of moment. It's really fun. Uh, but moving along, we actually have a. This is where the paper. This is where WrestleMania kicked it up another level. This is where I realized, oh, we're in the good years now. We're in the really, really fun WrestleMania years, because we've got a guy that went from. Jobbing in two minutes to coming out with his bodyguard China, Hunter Hurst Helmsley, going up against Goldust with Marlena. This is the big blow off for their feud, I think, anyway. But yeah, it, it's a fun match. Uh, they're both busting their asses, and it ends up Goldust accidentally knocks, knocks Marlena off the apron. China catches her, ragdolls Terry Runnels. Ah, it's so... You feel bad for Marlena, but damn, is it fun to watch. And uh, Triple H gets his first WrestleMania win. Wonder if he'll get any more of those. Um, <laughs> I'm just kidding. He gets a lot. Um, But moving along, we have the Tag Team Championship match. This one... 
I was a little underwhelmed with. I wanted a little bit more, but it's only because of the finish. I understand why. But you got the tag team champions, Owen Hart and the British Bulldog, who are in the middle of possibly breaking up. There's a lot of tension going on between Owen and the Bulldog. And they're going up against a very formidable team of Mankind, WrestleMania debut, and Vader with Paul Bearer as their manager. Oh, this is a fun match. Um, It's a lot of Owen taking the lumps, as you would expect, and a lot of Bulldog using his power moves and stuff like that. But it actually ends with Mankind locking in the mandible claw, but getting thrown through the ropes with Bulldog, and there's a double count out. So it's got, it's a very protected finish, which is fine because none of these guys can really lose. You don't want to put Mankind and Vader with the straps, especially given what's going to happen with Owen and the Bulldog in, ooh, I'd say probably a couple weeks according to the timeline in my brain. But uh, yeah, they, they got some things coming up down the pipeline. Remember, this is 1997. A uh, very important year in the terms of Canadian wrestling as a whole. <laughs> but in speaking of Canadian wrestling, oh, I will say easily the match of the pay-per-view in a walk this next match. Maybe my favorite match of the WrestleManias that I've seen so far. I know it's not my favorite WrestleMania match of all time, just but so far up to 13, yes. This takes the cake in a walk. Sorry, Savage Steamboat. All apologies. This match is amazing, and I forgot how fucking amazing it is. A submission match with Ken Shamrock as a special guest referee. Bret Hart, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Oh, man. You've seen this match. If you haven't seen this match, stop this match video right now come back to it but stop it right now watch this match it is everything um there's a huge feud going on between brett and austin obviously everyone knows this brett is turning into bitter brett austin is the new flavor that everyone seems to like and brett's like oh why don't people like me anymore i'm a good guy oh so good The match immediately, they immediately go out into the crowd. Austin takes a backdrop onto, I think, some stairs in the arena. You can't even tell because we don't have good camera technology at this point. So we can only see, like, aerial coverage of it. It's balls out ridiculous. It's fantastic. Um, They're just beating the crap out of each other. It's real. And Austin eventually accidentally, we don't know, gets busted open. Oh. Now, I knew Austin got busted open. I I mean, everyone who knows anything about either of these guys' careers knows he got busted open, and they know the finish. But I thought it happened right after. No, 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 no. There's a lot of action by the time Austin gets busted open and the finish, which has him passing out to the sharpshooter. Um, Damn, this is really good. Th- this is just such a Good match. I'm going to say it's the best match Ken Shamrock's ever been in. He's the referee. It's a joke. Um, But this match, this match was when I realized what everyone was saying about Bret Hart. Because, see, Bret Hart always wrestled different as a heel. And he wrestled more to a style that I appreciate as a heel. He didn't have a lot of the rest holds. It was just impact, 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 impact. And damn, he... uh, Bret Hart steals this WrestleMania. I don't say that lightly. Y'all know I'm not a huge Bret Hart guy. Bret Hart takes the cake of this WrestleMania. Just just completely does. He's so good. He's so good. Also, this is the first WrestleMania... Where a foreign language announced table gets broken. Yes. I believe it happens in the next match. But ah, it was so good to see. It was so good to see you guys. But yeah. um, Bret Hart beats Austin. But 
as we know, Austin didn't pass out. Austin didn't tap out. He didn't say I quit. He passed out from the pain. Lost consciousness. And quintessential Stone Cold Steve Austin. A referee is helping him up. As soon as he gets up, Austin sends the ref. So good. So fucking good, you guys. Ah. Uh, just just fantastic. Now, uh, before we get to the next match, they obviously had to clean up all the blood. So we are we are treated to a nice a nice another little internet treat. Uh WWE is on AOL. I'm not sure if you guys know this. WWF is on AOL. Keyword WWF. And Shawn Michaels is answering questions live in a chat room, but Sean is pretending he doesn't know how to use a computer. So it's like It's it's great. Um, it, 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 you've seen the if if you haven't seen the gift of this, just look up Shawn Michaels' computer. I guarantee it's the first thing that comes up. But yeah, it's 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 awesome. Uh, moving along, we're in Chicago, y'all. So guess what? We have to have a Chicago street fight. The Legion of Doom and Ahmed Johnson going up against the Nation of Domination. The nation, by any means necessary. Come on, Farouk, Crush, Savio, with Wolfie D, JC Ice, Clarence Mason, and you're looking at the real deal now, D'Lo Brown. Ah, oh, this is a fun match. They they just they just beat the shit out of each other. A lot of weapon shots. It's it's great. It's it's. It's as good. It's as good as you want it to be. No technical skills in it at all. None. Absolutely none. I don't even remember how the Legion of Doom won. I know it wasn't with the Doomsday device, but I know Legion, Legion of Doom and Ahmed won. I don't even remember. I just remember it was a fun, fun match. Um, yeah, I mean, I was probably on a high from watching Bret and Austin because that match is that good. And then uh, we get to the main event. And if you remember when I talked about WrestleMania 12, it looked like they were building to a rematch between Brett and Sean. Now, we get that, kind of, in a very roundabout way. Uh, because Shawn Michaels comes out for commentary. Commentary, you ask? He doesn't have the championship? Nope. This is the year Shawn Michaels lost his smile. A.K.A. got injured, A.K.A. had some drama, A.K.A. we don't exactly know. There's a bunch of rumors that go around this, this time period. But suffice it to say, Psycho Sid is the champion. And he's going up against The Undertaker. Now, we're, we're in 2017. You know who wins this. It's The Undertaker. But, cool thing is, Vince McMahon tells us on commentary... That both guys asked for this to be an ODQ match. Not the first time we'll see an abrupt change to a main event's rules at a WrestleMania. Not the first time we'll see that. I mean, not the last time we'll see that. But this brings out Bret Hart. Bret Hart comes out. Bret Hart comes out and says, "The Undertaker doesn't deserve to be here, and Sid doesn't deserve the championship." Sid gets pissed. Sid power bombs Bret. It, I'm telling you, Bret Hart, man. Heal Bret. Heal pissed off, bitter, old man, 4 out of 10 Bret when he could actually wrestle was one of the greatest things in the world. It really was. It, it made me a fan of the Hitman. First time in my life. I'd always been an Owen guy. But, hey, once you have Bret, start acting like Owen. Ha ha, it works. But yeah, um, Taker and Sid, they have a good match. They have a fun match. It's good to see two big men going at it like this. Um, Brett does come out again later and is rather instrumental to uh, Taker getting the win. He smashes Sid in the back with a chair a couple times and Tombstone, Taker wins. And I think Vince McMahon forgot that the Undertaker already won the WWE Championship once. He said, oh, finally, the Undertaker gets the belt. I'm like, uh, yeah, he had already. Kind of the reason we had to do the whole 92 Rumble thing. But, uh, yeah. Um, but Taker gets his win at WrestleMania. He gets to 
you know, kneel down, hold the title, get to celebrate. Shawn Michaels is great on commentary for this match, by the way. He's fantastic. He's really good. He does a good job of selling everyone, and you can still tell there's a lot of underlying things going on, especially looking through the window of history. But, um, yeah, so I think that's pretty much it for WrestleMania 13. Uh, if you guys got any comments, thoughts, hit me up at MadMike4883 on the Twitter machine. Leave some comments in this YouTube in this YouTube clip. Or uh, hit us up on Facebook or hit us up with that email, goodtimeswrestlemanshow.com. All right, and we will be back for WrestleMania 14 in Boston, Massachusetts, where I have a feeling a different era might begin. Not positive on that, but for Mad Mike, I'm Mad Mike, and this has been 32 Manias with Mike.